Hello. In this lab, I'll show you how to build an ASP.NET application using Azure DevOps pipeline. So let's get an ASP.NET application in the first place. And open Visual Studio. And create a new project. And over here, I'll search for Okay, and select an ASP.NET Core web project. The next, me save it desktop itself. So, a sample application is ready for us. The sample application, let's do a quick tweak. So, a sample message come to Magic Matica. Save this page. This is the our application. Let's publish or uh, let's push this application to Azure DevOps repos. So what I'll do is or do over here is I'll do get in it. Next I'll go to Azure DevOps, I'll go to repos and I'll create a new I'll call this as web application. I'll initiate an empty repository. The URL of my repository. Here I'll say git remote add origin. The URL which we copied from your repos. And then I'll say git add git commit. If a name, let's call it as initial commit, and let's do a git push origin master, and this will push my code to the Azure repo. Now I want to build an application from this code. I want to build my uh, DLL files or EXE files so that this application can run on some website. So I'll go to your pipelines and over here I'll say create a new pipeline. My code is saved inside your repos, right? Your code could be on Bitbucket or it could be on GitHub or any other uh, source code management. In our scenario it is in Azure repo, so I'll select Azure repo and this is our repository. Now the interesting thing is it will automatically detect what kind of app trying to it will give you certain recommendations. You can expand this list. We'll get more recommendations. And we are building an ASP.NET application. So I'll select this instead of uh, creating a starter pipeline. I'll select an ASP.NET pipeline. So it will have the necessary uh, stages and the task okay, to build our application. As I said, it has the necessary stages and the task. It has necessary steps, tasks required to build the application. So over here, it would be building our application on uh, Windows uh, machine, it, it would be again a Microsoft hosted agent, and it will basically look for an SLN file. And then next, it will install NuGet installer and then do a Visual Studio build. Build our application, and if there are any test scripts, it will also execute those test scripts. So, two tasks build and test over here, right? I can say uh, safe and run. And what this will do is this will commit this YML file, Azure pipeline.yml file to our Azure repo. And as soon as the commit happens, the first statement says trigger this pipeline. So as soon as I save this file, this uh, Azure pipeline will get triggered. So let's click on uh, save and run. And the job has triggered. You click on this you will see certain thing is happening on this console uh, one of the thing is it is identifying that uh, it requires a windows machine to build this application it is uh, windows latest image it has picked up the windows latest image and now the machine is ready the host name of the machine is this okay. so it is doing various steps uh, you can see it is initiated the machine it shows the image version right it shows the uh, working directory details, right? Where are, would be the logs be saved for this uh, agent? It shows various details over here. 
text it is getting the application by doing a git clone and then finally it is doing a NuGet it is installing NuGet installer and then it is doing the build of my application and it is also performing any tests but there are no test scripts as of now so it says there is no test source found uh, with matching filters this, this builds my application now the interesting part is just builds the application on a host machine uh, but where are my artifacts where is my build package of my application so in upcoming labs you will see once the application is built how to publish the build artifact uh, this is it for this lab watching